Hey guys, um, I know it's been a long time. I picked up a few jobs, um, so I've been pretty busy. But I did. I've had a few dreams that I'm going to be posting soon, and um, I wanted to tell you uh, a story that happened Wednesday. Um, but, um, so I had a fleeting thought when I stood in front of the mirror the other day um, that I probably should do some working out um, and just some light workouts nothing I don't work out it's, I, it's boring <laughs> um, but I thought maybe I should get the stomach flat for summer <laughs> um, and then I thought well you know I don't have any rugs in my house because my dog is old and she pees on every rug we've ever had. So, um, we have all hardwood floor. And then I thought, well, if I had a yoga mat, um, I could use that. And then I could also use it to pray because I like to get on my knees on the ground and pray. And, um, it was just a quick thought and I didn't think much of it. I didn't want to go and buy one because I'm... I don't want to I'm cheap and I don't want to spend that much money on a yoga mat that I don't know if I would use that often other than to pray and um, <clears throat> later that day I live in a farming community so it is not very busy um, except for the road that I take to go pick up my kids from school and it's it's trash day so everybody's got their trash out and the trash guys are driving around and there's something in the road and it's a really busy road during this time that I pick my kids up from school and I'm like what is that in the road and it's right in the middle of the road um and I'm like I drive past it and I was, oh that's a yoga mat and I'm I, did, I didn't know what to think about it, and I and I kept driving because there was there. Well, someone had just drove drove driven over it on the in the other lane. Lots of people around. It'd be kind of dangerous for me to pull over. So I pick up the kids from school, and I was telling them about it, um, about how earlier that day what I had thought, and um, I was like, okay, well, if it's there on the way back and there's not many vehicles, I'll pull over and pick it up. Well, in my mind, I was coming up with all these excuses of why I shouldn't pull over and look at this yoga mat. And I drove past it three times. And um, each time there was nobody around. But every time I'd, I would go away from it, people came. Even to the point where a car behind me just disappeared it was there and then I was looking in the rear view mirror I was like well I can't pull over now because this car is behind me and um then I kind of slowed down to stop pick up the to look at the mat and the car is gone well I was like well I'm just gonna go home it's it's trash I'll just go buy one and then I'm thinking well is it really trash and in my spirit, I heard humility. And then um, God told me that when you put limitations on him in the with what you ask, and he wants to give you something, just like a parent wants to give their kid everything they possibly can. Even the little things he wants to provide you for and if you put limitations on how he gives it to you that's limiting and you're not limiting God he can do whatever he wants but you're limiting you're putting up walls and putting God in a box of how he can and cannot work in your life and um, then the verse Matthew 6 26 came to mind look at the birds of the air they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns and yet your your heavenly father feeds them are you not of more importance? And even then, I, I still, my myself, did not want to go and stop on the side of the road and pick up something that was in the middle of the road. 
And um, so I said, okay, God, if you want me to go get this yoga mat, tell one of my kids to say, go get it. And uh, my son just write that and said, you need to go get that yoga mat. And I was like, okay. So I, I had gone all the way home. I turned around and drove the drove back and I said okay God if you really want me to get this yoga mat don't let there be any traffic in the road because it is a really dangerous road nobody was around not coming towards me not coming from behind nobody and the second I got out got the mat it was my favorite color even and uh, I picked up the mat it's it's in pretty perfect condition um, and I got in the car and then the car came. So I got it home and I cleaned it off and it's not, it's not a mat to me. It's a story of how much Jesus loves me and how much he cares. Even, even, even with a, just a thought that, that was off, like offhanded thought that, that I didn't put much thought into. He, it's, it's just, it's so amazing and humbling how much he really cares for us and I know we're not even going to know the extent of that until we are face to face with him and um I just thought I I I just thought the story was just it's it's not just I I got a yoga mat because God cared about me it's God cares about every one of us and he wants to work in us just like that and he wants to give us what we desire as long as you are open to him working differently than you think he's going to work and doing it when you're not expecting him, allowing him to do it when you aren't expecting it. Don't put him in a box because his timing is always perfect, even though we think ours is better most of the time. So I have two dreams. Um, they're not, not fun dreams. Um, so I think I might put a, a lock on one of them for um, 18 and under. Um, probably both of them, honestly. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I hope to um, put those up soon, and I hope you guys have a great day.